will be favoring the side of OG. Uh, unknown. You know, they are kind of unknown to some of these teams. Maybe they've got the potential to surprise some of the bigger sides and catch them off guard soon. I don't think OG were expecting the Huskar pick, at least. Uh, their last pick, good at adapting to it, though. I would say Alchemist is alright. It's more, it's a physical damage source from Acid Spray that can kill him off when he's low, lower the armor so it gets easier. And more importantly, I think just for their own game plan should be alright as I'm having a hard time seeing Unknown knocking down towers that early with Huskar. They don't have one of those very classic defensive supports with it. Cold Embrace is good, but they don't have, say, an Omni Knight who just allows you to push the towers immediately or uh, something like a Dazzle to grave him when he's low. But I do think OG are in a pretty good position draft-wise as long as they don't get crushed early. Almost like we're not going to see any aggression at the start. I know did look for some kind of action with a smoke movement, but OG the themselves towards the bottom and uh, Miracle should be able to find himself the bounty here. No contest on the side of Unknown, so that's going to be that straight up burst of gold here for this Alchemist. And it's just going to be a question of how he plays this. I mean, you talked about potentially getting the axe to the Tiny, but does he still go for the standard kind of Radiance, Boots, Travel, Manta, Octarine, or do you pick up the Agonins before one of those pit ones on, on the progress of this Alk? Mm. I think this is the kind of game where you could go Radiance into Ags. Okay. I would say Radiance definitely the choice, just so you secure that you can keep the farm flowing. Because giving away on Aghanims is pretty expensive, and then if you don't have a good build-up, it's going to take too long. But with Radiance, you can do it pretty fast. So I do think that is an option here for Miracle. He can also just go for the standard like self-sufficient build where he goes for the Manta. It's difficult to say. Depend. It really depends what happens in the first 15 minutes of the game. Yeah. And in, in terms of the lane matchups that we've got across the map, uh, do you feel that there's uh, either side's going to be happier with the kind of the, the matchups that they've found in this, this first part of the game? Mm. I think OG can be pretty happy with shutting down Slaughter. In my opinion, this hero has been very, very strong in the games we've seen so far where he got a key item at a decent timing. But if he gets shut down early, we've seen him have almost no impact. Uh, that's not just in the tournaments, it's in other games as well. So, it, first picking that slaughter and putting it solo offlane, I think, is a very uh, dangerous choice from unknown. And if they don't help him out, or, uh, OG should be very happy with uh, with the situation. As I don't think they can keep Miracle that much away from farm in the mid anyway. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen the acid spray just totally ruining this Quap's day. She's had to back up each and every time. Every time he gets laid down with it being level two at the moment, it's very hard for her to stick around and get the CS on top of it. J7 Miracle, 5 for 1 at the moment. He's keeping just a little bit up with the quad. He's still slightly got the edge, but as expected, she has had the Spirit Breaker around. And it's a bit of a fight here for this 2 minute rune. And Greedy will get it here with the Illusions as well. Trying to turn onto Fly. He pops down the shards, but Fly potentially a bit of trouble there. Greedy just sliding forward here with the sprint. And that's your crush again. And Fly, he's not going to be saved by the Io. And that's going to be your first blood for unknown. And they might just not be done there. They're looking for more. The charge across onto Carnage. He will be able to tether away. Is it called Carnage on your screen? He is. Oh, interesting. It's, yeah, it's Reborn. Reborn sin. But yeah, okay, on his AKA crit. Yeah, strange. I have the real names on my... On my screen well, here. We can't all be as good as you, Sin. Uh, I think you just you <laughs> might just need to relog Steam for the next game and it's fine. Yeah. It might be some thing with updating relative to server or something. Anyway. It was the first blood for unknown. It went the way of the SB, so... He goes for boots, orb of venom to start. I'm considering if he wants to go for earn this game and just really try to be active in ganking, or if they think they can transition him into a core with a Midas. It's yes. a little bit early to say, though. Yeah. Oh, and a oh, charge onto charge. Miracle as well. I mean, can they get this one? What kind of mana have we got in the Copa? I don't know if she's got enough ready to blink forward and contribute. And she has in two seconds. A blink and a scream would do this. He gets a greater this. bash now. Aye, there we go. Just He's a blink and a dagger. Dead. Oh. Oh. Miracle's dead. Is anyone coming in to deny him? No, he's buying a TP, accepting his fate. This All is a right. very good play by Unknown. And this is a great start for Unknown as well. Two kills on the board, and, and this Spirit Breaker, he's been doing work for the side. Setting it up each and every time. And bottom lane, the CS for um, for Katara, he's been fine. 19 for 7, Moon's not been able to do that much to stop him on his own. And the early game for Unknown, we were, I was actually talking about this with Cap earlier, this is a portion of the game that the Unknown seem to be good at. They seem to be good at getting this early game sorted. Kind of when it comes to the, the later portions that they they do tend to struggle. We've obviously got to note the fact that No Tail on the Tiny, he himself, he's been having a final time top, pretty much perfect CS. There's going to be good progression on him. 
whether it be, uh, I guess, I mean, I guess when there is an Alk in the game, he does go for the blink like a first here on the Tani, do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I would yes. say so. They probably need to start not too late in the game. I think if both Alk and Tiny go greedy, they can get punished really hard. If it works out, they win the game, but it's maybe too big of a risk to take. Uh, I was going to say, it's it's very important that this kill Miracle. happened because Miracle is still at level 6 and the Queen is close to Sonic Wave. And there's a charge in as well, but there's the concoction to stop it. Moon's turned up with a TP, throws back a Fissure and there's a TP in. Oh, it was going to be for no total at all, but he ends up cancelling it. Lies there with the shards to block off Greedy. Greedy should still be fine, so this time OG with the reactions does manage to save Miracle's life, or at least stop Unknown going for anything more here. And now a tune is almost level 6 on the Queen, just needs one last hit. That makes okay. it very dangerous for Miracle, even when he has his ultimate. This Queen of Pain ult takes away one third of his health immediately. So he has to be very careful with uh, what positions he gets himself into in that mid. Yeah, and anytime there's a charge to lead in, you're pretty much, yeah, what one bash, and, and that's going to be a kill as well. We do find the opening for it, I don't know. Top yeah. lane. Ah, okay, Greedy's going down that this time. No tail with the combo and the back of a crit. Finds a kill, and now they get the pressure onto the tower here. So no tail still having a pretty good game. We've seen Unknown try and deal with the mid at uh, mid lane. Bottom lane, they were able to deal fairly well with the Shaker, but it's the top lane really where the Tiny's getting out a little bit out of control in this portion of the game. Uh, the the dangerous thing for OG in this bottom lane is the moment Huskar reaches level so yeah, actually even now. I see Moon good decision making here, TPing out. I think he would have died. Um, but when Huskar reaches level six, he can dive with Shaker solo almost all the time. So the OG have to be careful and ready to respond. Nice oh. nice charge by Fly. Oh, and the snowball in. They're looking for both of these heroes now. There'll be the toss board as well. They'll take down the Slada, and now they're looking for more OG. There'll be a charge out, they won't be able to cancel it, so Spirit Breaker's gonna be able to save himself, but Miracle's there. There's actually the charge onto Miracle, but they haven't got the mana for the Sonic Wave. In fact, he's not skilled it. No, hasn't skilled it at level 6. Okay. Is it, I mean, sometimes we see Quops do this. Is there a reason, Sint? <laughs> Misclick, no. Uh, this actually used to be the standard thing to do, was okay. to uh, to go 2-1-4. There Dyer was a phase in Dota 2 when you attack. almost exclusively did that. That was before Sonic Wave got buffed. I think the new Sonic Wave is almost always a skill point uh, worthy of that. Maybe they didn't release the patch yet in Peru. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's not that. It's probably because he wants to be able to push the lane out better and try to secure these runes, because obviously these points in Scream of Pain make it a lot easier, uh, make for some more stable harassment as well onto Miracle. But I, I'm very rarely a fan of this build-up. Uh, I think Sonic Wave is almost always the best choice on level 6. Bottom lane, decent timing here on the armlet of course here for Mr. Hayama. So he's gonna have that rock in the bit charge onto Miracle in the mid lane. Greedy's there as well. I'm not gonna follow through on that one. The cop a little bit too low to contribute. Now at level 7, so he's picked up the Sonic Wave here. I got now, okay. Yeah. I was wondering if he was gonna go for Scream again, actually. Yes, so max it out. Uh, so, essentially skilling it in the opposite order of what's normal, but I don't think it made a difference. Um, time at which he could have had Sonic Wave, he didn't mana for it anyway, so... Doesn't seem to matter that much. Charge from Stock going in really deep for this one. Yeah, they're gonna look to dive this one over the slow as well from the Arctic Burn. Here comes your Huskar moving in, and they'll find the kill onto Shaker. Getting a third, but no tail turns up with the toss of the Avalanche. Not gonna be able to toggle yourself out of that one and the snowball across. They're looking for more. They've found one. The Cold Embrace will buy some time here. He does have a charge available as well, but the toss nice is gonna time. be there straight up. He goes down. Double kill for No Tail. And No Tail, he's been having a perfect time farming up the top. And those kind of TPs are just making it for the man here. He's now sitting upon 1,200 gold here. And he's been involved in four, well, all four of the kills. So this is this is some really smart awareness from Notel so far. Right, this could have gone very, very different. I think if Huskar had one additional point for Circus Blood, he might have survived the combo from Notel, and that goes the other way. But Notel taking good advantage of the fact that two points in this for Circus Blood is not enough to to avoid or mitigate all the damage he needs to do there. Yep. Like I said, No-Tail with a good amount of money in the bank. I'm still guessing he, he's cruising toward the Blink Dagger oh. by the looks of it. Oh. Yeah, Klopp, he's yeah. going to try and go. Fly has got a Snowball here if he wants to go for some funky plays. And he does have a Shaker as well. Uh, <laughs> Alright, the fish he goes out. He might be in trouble here. They've got a concoction if they get it out in time. Oh, the Sonic Wave! Alright. Yeah, show the ground who's yeah. boss. Well, they, they, they got the kill nonetheless. The Sonic Wave was uh, there in honor. You know what would be nice tusk. right now? Sonic Wave. <laughs> 
<laughs> a miracle. They might just find the Spirit Breaker. The Fisher was there to set it up. They'll get themselves a kill in return. And now, with a concoction, they might find themselves even more. Moving forward, trying to get Vision of the Void. Oh. Can't quite get the Vision, though. Quap still playing around. Blinks down to the low ground. Meanwhile, top lane, Tiny, Mr. No-Tail, finds himself a circular to Slada. Now Miracle's moving in with the help of Crit. They'll get the Wyvern as well. So they do end up finding three there off the back of a trade where they lost the Fly Snowman. And now the Snowman, Mr. Tusk, turns back up and hey, 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 I'm a Huskar. Oh, oh, is he? No, he's not good. Oh, 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 that's some Dr. Lee. All right, there's the, there's the yeah. limit. <laughs> Gets himself that's... on the way down. I mean, that's a Huskar for you. Double kill for the man. Does end up paying with his life. Uh, all right. Under Wait, no tail went drum. Oh, okay. Interesting. So he does love it. He just found the ember as well. It is a good item on the hero. Radiance Very nice play here by Wyvern, by the way, <laughs> denying that with the uh, Arctic burn. No tail's going to feel a little bit cheated there. Um, but yeah, I like I like the drum build on Tiny quite a lot. I thought he was going to go for Blink and just keep the momentum up, but prioritizing the the bit of farm. I still think uh, Blink is next on the menu for him here. We're gonna see. Maybe he decides to skip it entirely this game and just relies on the Tusk for initiation. They do have multiple ways of initiating from long range. Yes, it doesn't have do. to be him, so. That's true. Well, Miracle with the Medallion as well, going into Crest. Ooh, they could okay. take Roshan very early with this. And it's a great item against Huskar. I think that's the main reason he's getting is that there's a Huskar in the game. Um, yeah, if you pop that down on him and you throw an acid spray on the ground, you're not on like holding him through that any time. It's, it's minus 17 armor, yeah. and of course, uh, the mischance for Huskar is also super annoying to deal with. Speaking yep. of which, yep. they're going for a sneaky, uh, <laughs> a little, a little oh, cheeky, like cheeky one with the mates. I do like this. They, they, uh, do they get away with this? Uh, I, oh, okay, yeah. Moon. That's pretty uh, random without having any vision in the area. I'm out of back, man. No, they're, they're just gonna get it as well. They're not gonna check out the pit fully. He might be. He might be expecting that they're in there and just throwing it out, um, hoping maybe, that it's gonna scare them off. Or maybe he's hoping to kill Roche with the Fisher. Oh yeah, that would be. That would have been the play. That would have been a proper move. But there we go. I mean, so unknown, they get themselves the Aegis on this Huskar, who's got the armlet and the life steal with the helm of the Dominator, and he's been having a pretty good game so far, Huskar. Going to take a tier one mid lane might be a bit of a kick off, and there certainly is no tail coming in. And get the pick off onto the onto the quap. No tail is skipping the blink. He went for ogre club. Oh. So he might be going for his own axe now because alchemist does, did not go for the radiance build up. So he farms. He doesn't farm nearly as fast as he would with it. Um, curious to see if that is the choice from no tail here. Then everything is going the direct opposite of what I was expecting for item builds for both players. Um, but so far they're making it work okay. I'm still a bit concerned for OG in terms of. Their ability to play in this mid game if they if they give this Huskar too much space. Oh, Huskar, yeah, standing tall, tanking it up here, looking for the push onto the tier two. Look, look, this is this is what we expect from an just this kind of cocky confidence. <laughs> he just sits there and hits the tower. I mean, he can do. He's a Huskar, I suppose, and he has got the backup of his team. He's trying to play the bait here. The question is, do OG fall for it? And moving again. No tell. All right. Thank you. Ah, this man doesn't work anymore. Look at this man. Level man. level four berserker's blood is enough. This man is an absolute madman. The glyph, and now finally he uses the inner vitality. <laughs> I love this. There we go. That's the tower gun. Give it to a tune here. It's building toward. Wow. Uh, I, I don't think the husk guy was giving it to him. <laughs> it's probably like you, mother trucker. I wanted that. Mother trucker is that a thing? It's like the polite way. Sing. Okay. I'm a polite man. Blink now on the Alchemist as well. So this is the, it's the fighting build for Miracle. You know, yeah. the, the Blink. So he's the initiator quest. instead of the yeah. Tiny then. Yes. I, that's yeah. pretty decent. The nice thing about this build that we didn't talk about is Radiant that how much single target physical attack. damage it will do to the Huskar if he combines it well. Oh yes. Uh, Concoction also being physical damage together with the Acid Spray and putting that minus 17 armor makes it efficient. Uh, like, I think a flat 600 physical before... Um, well, depending on Huskar's armor, of course, but his entire combo hits really, really hard, and it could catch him off guard. Let's see here in mid if he tries for it. No, not going for it just now. You go for a wrap around onto, to see it. onto Miracle and Moon. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They got the charge available on Breaker. He did just use it on flight. Radiant's is it back in? Is it back in a second? He hasn't quite got the six there for the Nether Strike, but he has got the rest of his team backing him up. And Sonic Wave is back online. If I don't want to try for a fight here. 
Hey, look at this man. He just does it through the acid spray as well. Uh, acid spray. Yeah, he's good. He's good. I mean, this is some proper manly Huskar performance from this guy. Yeah, they're still not getting enough out of it right now, though. They just gave away a tier 1 tower bottom. Um, OG are starting to get in position for mid as well. And I think the most important thing for me right now is where does Slaughter go? Like, he has to find more farm than this. It's 14 minutes in. He's still not that close to a Blink Dagger. There's still another 800 to go. And I think that item is absolutely key for them in order to find the engages that allow Huskar to, to run rampant. So these key items have to come out. At the same time, you just see OG farming so much. They have a 4,000 gold lead. And it doesn't matter oh, how cool your Huskar is. But... Here as well. This is... Gonna be cool. I guess they do have the IO hanging around. Yeah, he sees it. Good yeah. ward in the dire jungle. Or Radiant Jungle, rather, and Crit's just gonna TP out. Yeah. I guess himself. Avoids that entirely, himself. and they make their own smoke play. They got the information that these heroes are bottom, so this means Slaughter is alone top. He reads this very well. I do place a ward here. They go in. Uh, he, did he less? just think he dodged them and then walk into them? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Greedy, living up to his name. Alright, he died. Uh, I, Huskar, I don't think you can be manly enough to walk into this. Huskar. Are you, he has still got that Aegis, there's a Winter's Curse, now down onto Moon with a Sonic Wave as well, that'll be one, now they're trying to look for more, that's Moon down, Miracle as well, will he fall? He's getting low and he does, double kill here at the moment for the Quat, there's going to be a TP out from Fly, he will be able to get himself away. Very nicely done there, once again by Unknown. This is a great call because of the way the relocate is used. When OG are relocating in, is I think this relocate was absolutely unnecessary, and that means that Unknown, they know that in a few seconds time at least the wisp leaves and probably also the tiny and then this manly play from husker all of a sudden isn't all that manly he also even had the ages on backup if it went wrong and he wouldn't mind using it because it's expiring in a minute um so good choice from them going for that play they get two kills but still not much going the, their way in terms of objectives the mitar is getting kind of low though yeah, I mean, the, the farm, the fact that we've got what? The Orchid now has been picked up Radiant's by Quat. Top tower is under so he's attack. gonna have that ready to jump in on some of these heroes. The Orchid gonna be very nice. Ends this lineup. And I guess, uh, on this Huskar Hill, he's what, looking for the Halberd ready with that Sanj. His next time. So something to try and do with the Tiny. But the Tiny is, is a, gonna have that be. Ooh, he might have a kill as well. No tell. Moving forward, gets the toss onto, onto Z top. Then gonna attack. follow through. BKB first. I mean, if it is going to be a halberd, you know, on the on the Huskar, uh, yeah. you know, it's Radiant's it's not awful. Tower Absolutely not. And like we talked about earlier, they can pull him an X. Um, it's starting to come pretty late, and PKB is obviously an awful farming item. So this surprises me a bit. I can see the idea that he feels like he can't fight without it, just because there's so much magic damage and and overall stun and control on the Radiant, but there's still a lot of it that goes through it. Still Greater Bash, there's still Nether Strike, there's regular Bash from Slaughter, Winter's Curse, Sonic Wave, plenty of tools to deal the damage, but he does of course block Life Break, which is very significant, and the Burning Spears. Yeah, it certainly limits, yeah, what how many armor's gonna be able to do against one that I bottom like, hang on, what's this guy doing? Alright, Z Top. Okay, he's gonna get away with it as well. I guess the tower. Yeah, see one down in the mid. Unknown. And now there's the blink on uh, your Slada. So they're going to have that as well, unknown. Greedy is there ready to go. And now with the TP in, they might look to try and fight into OG here. They're going to reboot, back themselves off over to their side of the map. Do they have a smoke here? Yes, they do. Uh, this so is with a the smoke. very unusually late blink dagger for Moon. Usually when he plays this offlane shaker, we see it come out at a pretty good time for him, but... It's hard going into lane against Huskar or Shaker, let's be real. Uh, and only 300 to go. I, I was looking at OG's line, I'm like, well, if you want to engage with Unknown, you need to be ready for a really good counter engage, but until Moon has the blink, it's actually not that scary. There's going to be a Fissure, of course, but... Oh, Miracle, they're going to go straight on this. The no? Amplifies on yes, the edge of Orchid, so no one's coming out the Sonic Wave, but the Ice Eye... Sorry, not Ice Eye, blowing it up. Beachy on the mine. Snowball's there to save him, buys him some time, but the damage still bringing them low. Unknown, they're pulling themselves because No-Tail's turned up. He's found one now, plus the BKB. The Echo Snap from Moon taking down one, but it's a double kill for this Huskar. And look at this man just go to work. He takes down the Sigil. Can they find anything more here? Looking to move in, Greedy's gonna blink in, look at this aggression, gets the crush onto No Tail. Nice oh, yes, he can. Wow. Leaps across the Fisher, looking for No Tail. Io's not gonna be able to save it. It's a triple kill for the Huskar. 
Mr. Hayama just going absolutely mental. Ultra kill for the boy. And my goodness, this man showing no mercy. Greedy's Blink Dagger couldn't have been picked up at a greater time as it allowed them to set up that Husker for multiple kills. And oh gee, they've, they've got to be a little bit scared of how much work this Huskar is doing against them. Even with the BKB on Tiny, it just didn't save No Tail. No, the BKB just expired on The, the BKB yeah. saved him for its entirety. For, yeah, he but took it's... pretty much no damage. But... but he couldn't do enough in return. Exactly. He couldn't really commit in. Of course, with his, with his current build, it's great from a defensive perspective, but he doesn't output enough to threaten this Huskar. With Miracle dead or under so much pressure, they don't have that minus armor that they need to put on the Huskar for No-Tail to deal the DPS that they need, so... A good fight for Unknown. I'm really curious to see which direction this Huskar Radiant takes his build. If he just goes straight into uh, the Satanic now, or if he's considering a uh, Crest on the way. If he did want that, he could buy a full one just now. Yeah, Pretty much it. the standard build up. And there's no good MKB carries on the Dire. I actually That's think true. the double evasion build Radiant with Halberd and Crest is really good here. Do they commit on the, I don't know if they commit on this one. Nah, yeah, Moonblink's back. It's a little bit too far for the charge to commit to. Muska's got an invis. Uh, I think it's a... Uh, oh, play now. It's straight Kyrus. Alright. I okay. mean, we, we already talked about... Well, Different source of armor. That's yeah. Okay. If if he's got the armor, I don't know how OG are dealing with him. You saw him in that fight. They just... they just, Even though they've got the stuns, they just didn't seem to have the control to stop him from getting the arm that toggles off and, and just proving to be an absolute nuisance and a menace in these fights. And of course the dangerous thing is if they commit everything to him, and that's the difficult, that's w the one thing OG are having difficulties with is that even if they land everything perfectly on the Huskar, they need to account for the Wyvern too, because LCD will always be able to just buy time with Cold Embrace. If key abilities are used on Huskar and he doesn't die, they're in for a really bad fight. So it is kind of tricky here for them to uh, to find an opening onto Huskar, and I, I feel like Unknown are, are taking pretty good control of the map right now. Nice, some really impressive stuff on the side. Roshan's going to be back up fairly shortly. He's there scouting it out. They can obviously take that fairly quickly with the Amplify and the Huskar. But OGR in the neighborhood. And, uh, okay. Echo Slam. Slam. They look to just get the pick up onto Spirit Breaker, and they certainly will. Everything and the kitchen sink being thrown at him. So they'll take the Spirit Breaker out for this fight. And it's a good time to do so with Roshan around the corner. They know they're going to be in a better position to defend it if it's a 5v4 engagement. I think Unknown can fight this. Uh, they just need to buy time for Breaker to respawn. Yeah. And they have a pretty good ward here that sees the movement of Miracle as well as Moon crossing away from the secret shop. I do like this as well. Uh, the fact that we have got the Halber being picked up quite early on Miracle. Something to deal with this Huskar, which they do need. Double evasion for yeah. him too. It's a good choice. Because that Husker, I mean, he's not going to have the BKB anytime soon. No. In terms of dealing with the disarm. So it is going to be an issue. Obviously, arguably, you could say that they can kind of fight around it, you know, just buy time for the disarm to wear off and then go back in. But oh, 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 he gets the crush off, but I don't know if it matters. He may just pay off his own life as well. Oh, oh, Axel, you don't want to be coming close to this one, buddy. Two down. And I, oh, he may, yep, yeah, I think this man's in a lot of trouble. Ah, there we go. There we have it. He's got the corner brace, but he hasn't got any friends around. And, uh, okay. OG. I mean, that's the thing. If Unknown make these kind of mistakes, OG, they're going to be the kind of... T they're just going to capitalize on it and, and take the easy kills. And, and now they're going to take Roshan as well. I mean, that was not ideal for Unknown, and that is exactly what OG were looking for to get their foot back up in this game. I'm very surprised Unknown fell for that. Yeah. There's five heroes missing. They know Roshan is spawning. They have vision on the other lanes, all five are missing, and they still run in and try to get that rune with Queen of Pain, which is actually fine if the team is on backup, but he has one hero on backup, which was the Slaughter. If the entire team is there, that's a different story. Then the Queen of Pain might have just baited them a fantastic winner's curse, but instead they lose three in a Roche for a haste rune. I mean, look at this as well. I've got no tell. He certainly strikes me as one to be innovative with his builds, and now he's picked up a Shadow Blade after the drums BKB. I mean, this is not your standard tiny build. He's going Silver Edge against the the Huskar, I okay. think. Um, seems like a pretty solid choice. It allows him to solo kill the Huskar, which is kind of nice. Well, let's see what happens at Miracle. Well, he's going to be blinking himself for what I think. I'm, I'm interested to see as well what Miracle goes next. You know, he went for the Solar Crest, he went for the Halberd. Now, does he go back for these Agonims for the Tiny? You talked about it potentially earlier, but he didn't go for it. Do you think there's a 
does he now think about it, or is he still thinking about himself and, and how he transitions into the later portions of the game? I don't know. OG are a weird team when it comes to Tiny, because I've seen No-Tail mm -hmm. build every item in the game on that hero. Yeah. And I've seen games where he goes super late game and doesn't have eggs, uh, plays it entirely okay, without so it. Okay, so they might just leave him without It's possible that they don't think the item is that important or that good on the hero, and that other items give more value for 4200. In that case, he probably also doesn't want Miracle to buy it for him until super late, and in which case, of course, you get it because it doesn't even take up an inventory slot. It looks like it will be there. He's got the point boost uh, on the. Okay. Yeah, so here's, here's the time. Watch the, it be a Scotty. Scotty? Yeah, just watch. I mean, maybe. Maybe. If OG want to still tap up the, the innovation. Or may, what if he farms an axe and he gives it to the Tusk? Now, that would be a turn up for the bookies. If he gives it to the Wisp, that's a... That would be. I and mean, we gotta get those stats in. Yeah. Gotta get those stats. That right, does help a bit. <laughs> but nonetheless, I mean. Allows him to tether two heroes at once. Doesn't know D, don't worry. Why did I check that? <laughs> My god, I'm such a, like, an idiot. I was like, did I miss a patch? God, that hates it. Uh, just a brain cell. Yeah, yeah that, that's 500. Cool. I was like, no it doesn't, but you said it so convincingly, Sin. See, I trust you when I have you as a co-caster. You're a mistake. <laughs> I trust you, I'm like, he's not right, but I'm gonna check. Right, anyway, 17 to 12, they get the pick off onto the slaughter. Another kill for OG, so pretty much they found the three in the river uh, early on, and now they just find themselves another one, so... We still get to see Unknown find themselves a favourable fight back up again. After these kind of favourable skirmishes with the side of OG. Radiant's top tower has fallen. I see how bird on the how come to 900 gold on your Oscar. It's going to be the same. So as you said, definitely that silver edge. Very close to being complete here for No Tail. So something to help deal with the Huskar. And it seems like OG have the game under control again. Yeah. Getting that fight and the Roshan just. Unknown kind of just ran out of steam for a bit, and they need to recover. They might want to wait until the Aegis expires and then try to make a play, but I think with every passing minute, their lineup gets weaker compared to OG's, so... Something has to happen pretty soon. I'm... I don't know how big a fan I am of the Slardar getting 4 staff in this game. It's kind of the norm, and a lot of the times players do what I just call autopiloting item builds, which I think in general is a bad thing. It, of course there's a stable build that's good, but you need to think about the game at hand. I think this go. is a BKB game. This is time to look for some action here. Tiny moving forward, and he's going to go straight for the Wyvern. That's going to be one down. Now he's going to look for more. Trying to chase down the Huskar. Huskar trying to do it. Oh, the Craggy. Oh, no. It hits onto Huskar, but you still find this backup from the Quark. Getting the side. Is out. Now the charge, the Sonic Wave, it's nice. The charge through across the Miracle now. Huskar jumping in on Snow Tail, but the concoction stuns there. Greedy's there with a crush. Is it going to be enough to keep the Huskar alive? Can he get out of the Invertality in time? No, he can't. Two down on the side of Unknown. They do end up losing Moon on the Shaker. There's the Snowball, though. They'll find themselves another one. So making it a 3 for one favoring OG. And they're just trying to move forward for more. There'll be the Blink away from the Quark. Greedy hiding in the sidelines. He gets the Blink off as well. Oh, nice play oh, by Antoon here. Great juke. Like, oh. Very, very nice there, hiding in the trees, and no tail. Might actually still try for- oh, he's gonna find a, a stray courier here, maybe? No, nope. still going for a tune. Oh, no tail. No mercy. And that's gonna be the fourth one. So, effectively, finding a very favorable trade once again for OG. And we we're pretty much at a point where the last five minutes haven't shown us any kind of favorable fights for the side of unknown. It's certainly getting harder, and here's the Aghanims. Coming out to Miracle, he'll, he'll almost certainly give that over to No Tail. And as you said, at this point, OG, they might have been a bit shaken up in the early portions of the game, but they've certainly come back into their element now. Level 16 on the Tiny with the Aghanims, and with a fairly hefty build as well. And suddenly, your Tiny's a good 5k net worth ahead of the Huskar, thanks to the Aghanims. Fair. Oh, Amplify Damage and Charge. Are they actually going to commit for this one? This seems like almost okay. suicide. Z-Top. Oh, yeah. And it is. He's, he's killed himself. That's one down. No tail. And cut it up a bit. Greedy going in with a crush, but nice timing on the BKB. The Winter's Curse is there. Oh, look at oh, this. Look at that. Oh, my oh, my God. God. That is the helmet there, but he's still jumps forward. The toss is there. No tail tries to turn around. They're looking for him here. Can they quite get him? He's low. He has a big little cape top. Trying to ward this one off. Miracle will stun himself. And he gets up the inner vitality, but Moon coming in. He tries to fight. Huskar still trying to do it, though. And he may just be able to turn it to the toss. And the avalanche is not enough. Yes, it is. They'll be able to bring down the Huskar. No tail still alive, but look at this cleave glitch. 
can't quite bring down Axel and a turn. Now Greedy with a the crush, they found Io as well. An unknown showing us that they're not out of this game at all. They're able to take down three from the side of OG. They do lose the Huskar as well as the suicidal space cow at the start of that one. But a very nice gold swing and XP swing for the team. Oh, Moon! Oh, oh Moon. Gets himself. Oh! Oh, but he's getting pinged for that one. <laughs> he also he's... pinged himself at least. <laughs> he was like, yep. But, okay. So he didn't use okay. the Sonic Wave in the fight. I don't know if he didn't have it. But it's surprising that that's left over after such a long team yeah. fight. Um, yeah, that didn't hit so well. No. I did, what level would is he? Stone. I don't okay. know if it would have killed him anyway. If it hit, would, would it have killed me? Okay, point close. He wouldn't have died. No. So it didn't matter. No, it didn't matter. It just looked funny. Uh, he buys a. He sells his hyperstone and goes point booster. So okay. he's prioritizing the ags for the low cooldown ults. Right. Um changed his mind because they already have an AC. That's the best reason I can come up with right now. And the alternatives, I think a Shiva's guard in this game is actually really, really good. Um, I would probably prefer that over Axe simply because you're oh. playing against triple melee oh. cores. Look at this relocate Moon sets it up onto yeah. Z-Tok and everybody's there. Everybody's there. They get themselves a kill. Roshan's going to be back up in a minute. And, uh, well, Huskar farming up the Ancients. He's going to be over looking for that BKB next. And she's going to be pretty key against this kind of lineup. There is now Greaves done here on the Tusk. And he's going to have that ready for the next fight. And I think Roshan could be where it all kicks off. The question is, do one nine have what it takes to, to contest OG's attempt onto the Roshan? I think the BKB on Huskar is absolutely crucial yeah, right now. But he's too far away for the Rosh fight. That means OG will get an Aegis. And... At that point, they might be able to high ground even into an into a BKB Huskar, oh, or oh, they just Huskar, do Huskar, right. Huskar, Huskar, straight, and here we go, the full five man. Huskar is gonna cape. Sentry's been popped down there. They've the vision here, and they're moving on to Huskar. Is the regen enough? No, he can't live with that amount of damage. He's down for 70 seconds. Now Miracle moving forward. They're trying to get Axel as well. And there's the toss for a no tail. They're moving on to the Winter Wyvern. And he's got the card embrace to buy him some time. But with the five heroes there of OG, they'll get themselves a double kill for Miracle. They'll put on the pressure in the mid potentially, or they'll just back straight up to Roshan off the back of that one. But again, another very successful smoke there from the team, and it looks like Roshan's going to be pinched on the menu, but it's still not quite up yet. Uh, just TP up top. Maybe try and deal with Green. Okay, Moon with the swag straight in. Gets himself a cheeky solo kill. Nicely done there by the man. And once again, unknown. Not, not the place that they were looking for. No, they're just, uh, they're really getting out outmaneuvered on the map right now. It's OG making the better plays in terms of uh, of aggression, oh. and they're also oh, the ones no making tail. plays in general. He's not done. Straight in on this, Quop's got no chance. It seems like in the last 10 minutes, Unknown has stopped trying to find pickoffs themselves and tried to uh, aggressively smoke. I don't know if they ran out of smokes. It looks like they actually did. And well, they do have one on Wyvern still, so I'm surprised that they're letting OG take control of everything. At this point, they have to try to do something. If they feel like they're winning this late game, I just disagree with their their view on the game. So it just looks like OG are getting bigger and bigger and not paying anything for it either. No, they're, they're certainly not at this point. But I think we saw them lose pretty much uh, one slight loss in a team fight recently. But other than that, each and every time they've been coming out on top. Radiance bottom tower and I imagine, attack. what's the net worth looking like? How kind of difference are we seeing at the moment? Yeah, it's really starting to tail off for OG now. 12k or so lead. And over 15 Radiance now in terms of XP. And with that tower as well, it's going to be even more. A lot of money being picked up here by Notel. Have you seen the four staff from Slara used yet? Okay, he used it on a creep now. Good. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Literally as you said it. He actually <laughs> <laughs> So the thing is, as I was saying, I don't I don't know if this is the four staff kind of game. It okay. is great against both Fisher and Ice Shards, but the problem is he can't go in. So the moment he blink crushes, he has to immediately disengage and he has to be really quick at it because all of the counterplays from OG are almost instant stuns. Then he just dies in the middle of the fight. Uh, whereas if he had the BKB instead of this 4 staff, he can actually start committing to get bashes onto the Tiny, for example. Can they get really to Roshan on I don't know if they can. No. No. I mean, do they still try and fight off the back of this? I don't know if they do. There's your Roshan. Hauk does now have an AC. There's the Aegis on to turn... No tail. 
So yeah, no, unknown zone. Oh, we don't want to deal with that at the moment. Are you about to call it no-tail toenail? I was going to call him like no Tony or something. No it... <laughs> All right, double ACs for the Dyer. Picked up at the oh, exact yes. same time. Okay, I mean, why not Sin? Yeah, I guess a little bit of miscommunication. You don't want this in most cases. Of course, it's great to have all that armor, and the attack speed is great for both heroes, but probably better to get one of them as Shivas, and that should have been Miracle. And there we go, moving forward, tier two. Maybe you should be able to take this. They'll feel very confident, maybe even trying to go for some high ground action. But I've got to be honest, at least the games that I've seen of OG, they're, they're very disciplined in terms of when they want to take it to the high ground. Even if they feel they're at a good point at this stage of the game, if they know that they're going to have the late game, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see them play it safe, just continue to get more items up on their cores, and only go for the high ground push when they feel super confident and super ahead, because they don't want to throw this one away. Absolutely not. And they have so many, I feel like they have so many ways of winning the game. One thing is five manning. They can also try to go for some split push strategy with IO Tiny later if things don't go too well. well. Looks like they might just be trying the high ground. Of course, they do have the crest to help No Tail against this amplified damage. They do not have their first Lotus Orb just yet. I do believe that's what Fly is building here. I mean, they just have so much armor. They have Flats, AC, two ACs. <laughs> And even Guardian Greaves, should they drop low? And, and it's go. time! How do we stop this on nine stage themselves? Miracle gets the stun off onto Husker. There's your fortification gone. And here we go. Tier 3 to fall, almost at the middle. Okay, there's the Halberd there, buying some time. Slowing down the push a little bit, but no tail walks it off. Heads back in, takes the tower. Now it turns attention towards the racks. I know you're going to need to do something here. There's going to be the charge coming out. They're going to try and fight. Charge across on the move, oh, but the ult is there to cancel it. Husker's trying to fight against No Tail, but the BKB's been popped, and he's just man fighting against him. There is the ultimate there from the Wyvern onto Miracle Holding Position. The Sonic Waves up, but the Snowball picks him up. The slam comes out here from Moon. That's one down, that's two as well, and they'll try and look for more. Quat will be able to blink away. They're trying to chase down the Wyvern here, but he has got the Glimmer Cape. There'll be a buyback here on the Slada. There's your concoction up onto Huskar. No Tail moves it as well. Kind of braces there to save him for the time being. So Huskar will be fine. Maybe, can they do anything still to stop this? Green oh, ball. it's Craggy! Oh no, and he's now down. It's a dieback on the Slada. Rex in the mid lane are taken by OG. And that, yeah, these Craggy procs. Not what Greedy was looking for when he blinked in there. Yeah, this is... More than likely the end of the game. They didn't even take away the Aegis with that team fight, so... And there we go. BKB from Huskar. He wants to try and fight. He jumps forward onto Miracle. And he might find this snow and the charge as well. Coming across, there's a buyback on the white, but Nether Strike onto Miracle controlling him. But they can't quite kill him. They can't take him down through the regen. He will finally go down there. Now, no tell. He's just there with the cleanup. Double kill here for the tiny. Moves it for more. GG's called. OG will take the first game. Again, we saw Unknown give us a pretty nice early game. A fairly good mid game. But a pretty, pretty bad late game, at least in this 36 minutes against OG, where OG just found the momentum and Unknown just fell behind. And, and as you were saying, they just couldn't find any chance to go out and look for any pickoffs themselves because OG were all over them. Yeah, going going for that bottom rune for Queen of Pain ended up.